In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your knee pain for good at home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with a locked up, stiff, achy knee and need a quick relief, especially at home, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to break it down into three parts. The first part is going to focus on the soft tissue around the knee, including the muscle and ligaments. We're going to do a self-massage per se. The second part, I'm going to show you a very good traction exercise that you can do at home that doesn't require any special equipment that will help open up the knee joint and hold hopefully provides some quick relief and better motion. The third part, we need to focus on strengthening the knee and its surrounding soft tissues, so hopefully we will have a lot less instances of knee pain in the future. If you have to ask, will this help XYZ condition of the knee, my answer is always going to be get it looked at by your doctor instead. This video is designed for simple strains and sprains of the knee. It will not help major injuries such as a meniscal or cartilage tear, ligament tear, anything like that. So don't ask, go visit your doctor instead. So let's get started with it and get rid of that knee pain for good at home. In the first part, we're going to focus on the soft tissue around the knee, including the cartilage, ligaments, and muscles. This is one of my favorite ways to get rid of muscle and just general tightness around the knee. It's a form of muscle scraping, also known as gua sha. What I'm going to be using is coconut oil. You can also substitute this for any massage lotion or you can actually use icy hot biofreeze, anything like that. We just want something that we can put around the muscles and around the knee to help give a little bit of lubrication and you're going to see here very quickly why. So let's take my lotion, my massage oil, and just coat around the knee or where you're having a lot of discomfort. You're going to want to go on the back of the knee, the sides of the knee, all around the muscles themselves. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a butter knife. If you don't have a butter knife, a spoon will also work. I'm not going to be using the sharp serrated edge. Instead, let's use right here the thickness of the handle itself. You want one that is nice and thick and is also going to be nice and smooth. Let's take a towel right here and just grab over the serrated part just so we don't end up cutting ourselves. So once we have enough lubrication from there, what I'm going to do is simply start to go around the muscles of the knee itself. I put pressure in there to make sure that I'm really getting a good massage, but not too much to the point where it's causing discomfort. I'm going to go first around the quadriceps, that big muscle right up here, and go from here all the way down to the knee itself. And make sure that you have plenty of oil around. If you feel like you don't, just add a little bit more. It's always good to have more lubrication than to have it not uh, pretty much causing a lot of friction in there. So when you, I'm doing this, what you're noticing is a lot of redness is starting to come in. And that's the whole point of it. What it's doing is it's bringing blood flow to that soft tissue to help promote healing. If you feel a spot that's just really gritty, stop over that and really just dig in there. Do this for about five to 10 seconds, move over to a different spot and do the same thing. But once you do that, also switch directions and hit it at a different angle. You want to go up with it and then you also want to go down with it just to make sure that we're attacking that soft tissue at all angles. But go to the side of the knee, go into the calf muscles right here, hit the hamstring in the back and also inside the leg and down into the middle of the um, gastroc or the calf muscle right here. Take the round edge of whatever you're using, the knife right here, and you can also go inside the knees, right here where the divots are at. Let's say that you have a lot of pain on the inside of the knee. You can use that tool, that butter knife I should say, to really just go in there and dig at that soft tissue. I just like to do five to 10 second holds, attack it at a different angle, and then just make sure to go all around the knee. Great way to be able to go in there and just get a lot of tightness out very quickly. For the second part, we're going to focus on stretching the knee with a light traction. I'm going to show two different exercises that you can use, so give them both a try and go with the one that you feel helps the most. This one is particularly good for people that have a locked up knee, maybe some knee arthritis or just want to help open it up. I'm going to be using two 
hand drying towels that I rolled up like this. Let's sit on the floor and what I'm going to do is whatever knee that I'm focusing on, and in this case it's my right side, I'm going to take that rolled up towel and put it directly behind the knee like this. Let's put the foot flat and then slide it back towards us like this. I take my hands, put it on the shin, and I'm just like a lever bringing the knee back towards me. When you do this, the more that you bring the heel back towards your butt, the more that's going to traction into the knee. Only go to your comfort level. Sometimes you will get a quick pop or crack into the knee. That is completely normal. What I do is once I feel like it's a very good stretch, I hold this position for 15 seconds. From there, I just relax and then I'm going to repeat up to five times. Every time that I do this, I try to go a little bit further with it. You're trying to build motion into that knee and it should just give a little bit more. For the second exercise, I'm going to take the towel and go lengthwise with it. Let's put it behind the knee that we're focusing on. So I'm starting off on the floor with a pillow underneath my knees for extra comfort. I'm going to grab the two ends like this and pull them away from my knees so it's really tight at the back of the knee. And once I do that, I'd like to just anchor my fist into the ground, or I should say the pillow, like this. When we have a lot of tension built up in there, so it doesn't feel like there's any slack, what I'm going to do from there is take my butt slowly down towards my ankles. Actually, I just got my knee to release right there. It was a pretty good pop. And I just keep going down further and further. You should really feel that knee start to traction open. Only go to your comfort level with it. From there, you want to hold this for 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then repeat up to five times. And each time going a little bit further with it just to help build some more motion in there. Great exercise. So if we want to get rid of knee pain for good, we have to focus on building strength in and around the knee. I'm going to show you two simple exercises that are going to focus on all of the main muscle groups associated with knee pain, including the quadriceps, and the hamstrings. These are compound exercises that are great because it's going to also focus on building stability into the knee by helping to improve coordination of those muscles and the soft tissue. First exercise, we're going to do what's called a toe tap. I'm taking a hardcover book and placing it under one foot. You can also use a yoga block or anything that is thick and sturdy and won't collapse under your weight. So the first part of this exercise, and there's three parts, what I'm going to do is whatever knee that I'm focusing on, that is going to be the one, that foot is going to be on that book. Let's straighten the other leg, and what I'm going to do is just slowly start to bend that knee till the heel touches the floor. When you do this, you're going to feel all of those muscles in the leg around that knee really start to engage. If this is difficult, you can have a chair off to the side right here or use a broomstick to help steady yourself, but you want to do just nice, slow, controlled motions, moving only from that knee. And when you do this, try to have good upright lower back posture and engage that core to help stabilize everything. I try to do 10 repetitions of this, take a breather, and then from there, do another set. The second part, and this one's a little bit harder, what we do is we're going to bend the knee, but instead we're going to take our leg and put it behind us like this and do the same thing. And actually this one's a little bit more tricky, even for me. So what I'm doing is just slow, nice knee movements, and then I'm just trying to take that knee down. And the same thing with this one, 10 repetitions, and you're just going to do two sets of this. So if you find that all of these are too easy, try to do an alternating motion. So go back into that first position and then go back like this. And I tell you what, this takes a lot of coordination into that knee, but it's going to help build strength in there and just get all of those muscles working together to hopefully ward off future instances of knee pain. So a great compound exercise that's going to target a lot, pretty much all the muscles that are associated with knee pain is the squat. Me personally, I think the squat is the premier exercise for building overall lower body health. What I'm going to do first is just use a sturdy chair. 
one without wheels. And let's slide to the edge of it like this. And then from there, let's just stand up. I'm going to position my feet to be shoulder width apart, and my toes are going to be slightly angled out, about 10 degrees. This will help take a little bit off the knees themselves. Let's make sure the low back has very good upright posture. Let's engage the core a little bit. We're going to put our arms out in front of us like this, and I'm just going to put my weight on my heels and then slowly start to lower my butt down towards that chair. When you make contact with the chair, drive from the heels and just come back up. Just nice, slow, controlled movements. And when you do this, make sure that your knees don't travel past your toes when you get down to the bottom. So just make a note of that. That should ensure that you have a good center of gravity. Once you're able to do all of this, just do nice, slow, controlled movements for 10 to 15 repetitions. From there, take a breather and do two to three more sets. If you find the box squat a little too easy or you want to focus on one particular knee, this is a good way to do it. This is called a staggered box squat. What I'm going to do is whatever side that I'm focusing on, let's bend the knee at 90 degrees while the other leg is just gonna go out just very slightly. I'm going to just place my heel directly down into the floor. What I'm going to do is just the same thing. I'm going to come up with it like this and then put my arms out in front of me and slowly come back down. But when you do this, you're going to feel a lot more being placed on that knee that right there is bent. So do 10 to 15 repetitions of this only to your comfort level. And then from there, if you're able to, try to do two to three sets and then switch to the other knee. This one right here is going to target it really well, so go very, very lightly into it. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.